All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to get DWM on Manjaro from a clean installation. So this is completely fresh. I just rebooted it from the little installer thing that I have in there. And I'm gonna walk you through it. So once you log in, you're gonna be greeted with this. Um, you can uncheck this launch at start because you don't need it anymore. Get rid of that and then open up the terminal. This guide probably works with most uh, distributions, um, but you're going to want to update your packages first because you, oh, well first you got to connect to the internet actually. Okay, it's connected to the internet. You're going to want to update your packages with Manjaro. You can type in that. The S means like install, Y I think means download updates, and U means upgrade. Just do that. Um, you might have to type in your password because it's a pseudo thing. Uh, and you just let this run, press Y, and it'll update bunch of stuff it's usually like a lot um starts out it says one megabyte because it's like the key rings and then it'll go and then it's like you know three and a half gigabytes so this will take a while depending on your internet okay that finished up so let's just clear here and then you're gonna want to install some packages okay first i just downloaded obs so i can like record in the thing and not have to hold my phone over the laptop so let's see if we can use the laptop, like, you know. Okay, so now we're inside the laptop. You're gonna wanna install some packages. You're gonna wanna get vim, git, and base, the val. Vim is just a text editor, uh, so you can use, like, whatever you want. Git is how we get the code. Um, base to val, it's like a bunch of, um, like, tools that uh, you need. Um, you know, like dumb stuff like GCC and make and, you know, and that'll take a little while to download. If it's not a completely fresh installation of Manjaro, you might already have some of the stuff that's in the base devel, um, because like other programs, when you install them, it might install like, you know, gzip or whatever, like, but whatever, you still want to do that, because then it'll make the DWM properly. Okay, so now, uh, if you're completely unfamiliar with Linux, CD, that's how you get into a directory, and LS shows like what's in the directory. So right now I'm in home. This is what's being recorded right now. That's pretty cool. Um, so as you see in home, there's like nothing. So what you're gonna wanna do is get the code for uh, DWM, Oops. which is just that, I'm pretty sure. Yep, and basically it'll just copy the file, so if you ls and then dwm will be right there. And then you're going to want to do the same thing, but st, which is the terminal emulator. You can use any terminal terminal emulator you want, um, but dwm, the config file, when you make it, it automatically chooses st. Um, so it's just easier that way. Uh, and then also we want dmenu, which you can make by the source code, or you can just get it through here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, so now let's actually make it. So inside DWM, there's like a bunch of these files, and nobody really cares. Um, but this make file, so what you're going to want to do, sudo make clean install. And it's just going to run the file, and it's just going to install it. Um, then let's go into the st folder, which this looks like similar type stuff. You just sudo make clean install, and it'll make it. Now they're both installed, so you'd think that you'd be fine, you just log out and you log back in, but how does it know that it's installed? It doesn't know it's installed. It's essentially just like there on the computer, but you don't know how to run it. Because um, if you just try typing DWM, like you see it, another thing's already running, which is XFCE. And if you use KDE, this is the same method. I have not tried on uh, like Mate or whatever the third thing is, or uh, GNOME, I haven't tried on that, but I assume it's the same. But you're going to want to go into the directory, uh, user share x sessions, and then inside there you see xfce.desktop. We're going to want to make a file dwm.desktop. And with Vim, it's just a text editor. You press I to insert, and that's how you type. Press escape to get out of that, and then to like save and exit, you can either do hold shift zz or uh, 
you do colon and then WQ. Um, but what you're going to want to type is uh, type this verbatim desktop entry and encoding equals UTF 8 8 uh, name DWM comment dynamic window manager. I'm, I don't know, I don't think this actually matters because it's just like the thing, like the button, so you could recognize it. You could probably make it say whatever you want. But this matters the exec USR local bin DWM. That's like the location of the program, so it knows exactly what to execute. Uh, and then icon equals nothing. I don't know how to put an icon, but you probably could. Type application. Looks good. Save and quit. Alright. Now, we should be able to open into it. So let's see if my OBS... My OBS will probably have to stop, so... So I logged out, and if you look down here, there's a little XF button. You click on that, and that's where this shows up. Click DWM, and log in like normal. Okay, we are in DWM. So... Uh, let me try to get uh, OBS running. OBS, whoa, okay. So we'll see uh, inside the laptop. Okay, so we are inside the DWM. This is crazy. Um, man, I'm not used to the normal keybinds. Okay, like I said, I'm not used to the normal keybinds. I accidentally just quit out. Oh, look, the cursor in there. Um, but, so let's change that. So, well, so essentially, like DWM is installed. It just it just works now. Um, but man, okay. But I need my dot files is what they're called, like little customization things. So I'm gonna git clone from my GitHub. Uh, that's called dots. That'll clone into there. CD dots. So. We got a DWM thing, a README, and an ST. And now I like to do this graphically because um, I don't really know how to move files in Linux because <laughs> I never bothered to learn. Uh, so I'm just going to run Thunar. Actually, we need a pseudo Thunar because it doesn't like messing around with it. Um, and it should open. No, okay. Pseudo Thunar. Oh, because I need a password. There we go. Okay, so. This is just the home directory. This is the stuff that's being recorded right now. Open up DWM. Let's do Thunar again, just to get another one. This one goes into dots, DWM. And uh, basically when you configure the thing, it's, you save it to config h. The config.def.h, this is um, like what, this gets copied whenever you make the thing into config.h. So this is my config h, we copy this paste this into here. You can see it's a bit bigger because I've added stuff. I'm gonna replace. And then I also got this, these two things, which I'll talk about in a second. These are kind of additional. All of this is additional because DWM is essentially installed. Um, and then I also have ST stuff because I don't really like the size and the colors that are the default because it's really, really tiny. Um, but now it's in config age. Uh, how do I close the windows? This is always annoying because, <laughs> okay, well, by default, the it's like Alt-Shift-E, or Alt-Shift-C, that's to close the window, and I change it to Alt-Shift-Q, because that's what it is in i3, because I'm used to using i3. Um, but on here, Alt-Shift-Q, that just quits out to the thing, like the, like it just logs out the thing. So if you see here, like, none of our stuff has changed. So what we need to do is we need to cd into dwm. We need to sudo make uninstall. We actually have to uninstall the program and then sudo make clean install. And then I have this here, it's just like stuff that doesn't get used, it's in my config file. That's how I know that it's using my config file. Uh, and then we need to rebuild st, so cdst, sudo make uninstall and sudo make clean install. And that'll do that. Oops, clear. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to quit DWM and then go back in. So I will stop recording. And we are back again, and now you can see the bars on the bottom. It's got orange, and uh, the terminal looks different. Uh, cause these are just some colors that I've been trying out or whatever. Um, 
And now if you want to move a little bit more from here, like let's say you want to change your wallpaper because that's another thing that you got to do inside the, it's like a DWM thing. You can't just go to like the Manjaro settings and do that. At least I don't think so. So I have like a, a thing on GitHub with like a bunch of wallpapers on it. So let's, let me just grab that. There we go. It'll clone into the thing. And then also you're going to need uh, Feh, which is like a image thing. Um, you can like view images with it and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a script that automatically starts every time you open DWM and it sets the wallpaper every time you start up the computer. Um, so then if we CD into here and we CD into this and we do that, it'll like show up the image. So I got this picture of the sneezing uh, deer that I got somewhere, or elk or something. Okay, so another thing that you probably saw um, that I put in in my oops, see dots in here. Uh, this dot uh, diff file and this reset. Well, the reset. This is a different thing. But what we what we want to do is patch our DWM. So. Basically, we do uh, sudo bake um, uninstall. Oh, because I'm in dots. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, yeah. So see, okay, that, that was weird. <laughs> but um, yeah, we do that sudo make uninstall. Uninstall it. And then we want to patch, or yeah, patch dash dash merge dash i, and then uh, dwm dash, and then tab to autofill it. We do that, it says patching file. You don't want to patch stuff multiple times because it'll stack on top of each other and then make a bunch of errors when you like rebuild it. So don't do that. If you do end up doing that, what I've found is just copy your config file and move it somewhere else and then delete the file and then uh, do the git clone again and then just reinstall it and then put the config file back. It, it sounds like it would take longer and honestly you could just make a script that does that for you. but. I don't know, just don't patch something multiple times. Uh, and then we just do sudo make clean install. And then, etc. we do that. Then, what we need to do is we need to, uh, basically what that does is it looks for a folder inside .dwm, which doesn't exist yet. It looks for a file in there to automatically like run auto start.sh. But we need to make this thing, so we do make dir dwm and then we can well it's not going to show up if you do ls because it's got a dot in front of it so that ls there's nothing in here so now what we need to do is we need to make a, uh, a file called auto, auto start dot sh in vim press i to insert then we just have to type this because it's going to be in bash you can probably write it in something else but i'm not a nerd so just do that um and then this it'll just run every time so we just do that uh, thing that we did before when I showed the picture of the deer, we just do fe, and then it's bg scale. That means like set as wallpaper. Actually, let me open up a new thing. If we do um, uh, bg scale schneeze.jpg. Now, if we go to the back, now it is our wallpaper. But once we leave and come back, it's not going to be that wallpaper anymore. So what we do is we add it to this, and uh, you're gonna have to add the directory like from the thing you can't just cd into the, well you might be able to but you don't have to so this this means like home and then into my file folder thing s and then schneeze.jpg that's how it's spelled right yeah that and then that's all you need to do so just save and quit uh and then you need to make it executable because right now it's just text in a file that ends with a .sh thing it's not actually a script yet so you do sudo commod plus x. Commod, I don't know what it means, but like if you do commod plus x, that means it's executable. I think if you do plus rw, that means it's like rewritable. I know with like Arduino, having that plugged in, sometimes you need to do the sudo commod a plus rw to make it work. Um, we just do that, and then the the name of the thing, you should be able to tab like into it. Do that, and then to run it, you do dot slash auto start.sh and it ran it of course you can't tell although actually let's let's just change that um, 
what else is in here? <laughs> okay, Sean Bean JPEG. Okay, so let's uh, Sean Bean JPEG. Okay, so now our script is doing that. We just run it again. It changes it to Sean Bean JPEG, <laughs> which is the wallpaper that I have on there. But I want the the other thing, the schneeze. So schneeze dot JPEG. Okay, now now it's essentially done. If we quit out and then quit back, come back in, it'll be the wallpaper. Okay, yeah, and then that other thing, the reset or that reset dot sh. Basically, um, if we just uh, look at it, all it does is cd into dwm, and then it just uninstalls it and reinstalls it again. So I just made that so, like, if I wanted to, uh, right? Because it's not a thing yet. If I wanted to turn it into a, so if I didn't want to type out the entire thing every time, and then I think that's like the whole point of, come on, uh, the whole point of like making bash scripts is so it does it for you. So like all I did was do that, and then it uninstalls it and reinstalls it. Um, so let me quit out, and then I'll show you coming back in, and the wallpaper will be the uh, sneezing deer or elk or whatever. So logging in, DWM, just pressing enter, automatically sets the deer. Um, yeah, so that's that's that. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, I don't really, I'm not actually like very knowledgeable about this stuff. I just follow tutorials online. I just wanted to make something that was kind of succinct for YouTube. Um, this should work on Manjaro KDE. Well, I know it works on Manjaro KDE. Uh, I don't know about GNOME, because uh, I don't really like GNOME. But, yeah, and if you want my config files, just go to my GitHub thing that was, that I, like, went on there. You can just git clone your GitHub into it. You can git clone anybody's code. Um, and then just copy-paste into the thing. Yeah, and if you end up, like, bricking your DWM and you like mess up the config file and then you try to make it and then you try to go into it it'll like your screen will blink and then go back it'll kick you out to like the login screen just go back into xfce take out your config file like config.h either fix it or well usually if there's a problem with that it's pretty easy to fix but if you end up messing up the like dwm.c like yeah or like one, one of these like C files, like stuff like code that I don't know how to read, like I don't know where I messed it up, just to like delete everything and then get clone into the same thing and then just remake it. It really isn't that big of a deal, but yeah, I just want to make a quick video, so bye.